From the IHLS studios in Tel Aviv, this is Homeland Security Weekly Report. Hello and welcome to the weekly edition of the Homeland Security Video Report. I'm David Jones. Cyber attacks on drones. The number of missions unmanned systems are tasked with, as well as their diversity, is expanding each year. The importance of cybersecurity has become all the more apparent following the reports that Iran launched continuous cyber attacks against more than 50 different targets across 16 countries, including Israel, the US, India, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Germany, the UK and China. Researchers have found that in the course of the concerted cyber attack, hackers succeeded in gaining remote access and control of airport gates, as well as security control systems in South Korea, Saudi Arabia and Pakistan. In addition, the attacks targeted major companies, government bodies, medical institutions and entities in charge of energy supply. This coupled with a highly extraordinary incident in which two Iranian aircraft intercepted an unmanned aerial vehicle back in 2011, the importance of this issue is rising. The Iranian nuclear crisis and the US administration in his State of the Union address on January 20, 2015, President Barack Obama stated that Iran's progress towards achieving military nuclear capability had been halted and its stockpile of materials with nuclear potential reduced as a result of the dialogue on the nuclear issue between the world powers, the P5 plus 1 and Iran. Obama's sentiments were reiterated by Secretary of State Kerry and US Ambassador to the UN, Samantha Power. This was the backdrop for the administration's expressed dissatisfaction with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu's intention to present his position on negotiations with Iran to Congress. This has created a rather transparent linkage between Israel's positions on negotiations with Iran and sanctions, and the US willingness to assist in combating the Palestinian attempt to exert international legal and diplomatic pressure on Israel. A new Indian-wheeled UAV India's new Panchi, Urdu for Bird, Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, or UAV, will be showcased at Aero India 2015. The DRDO, Indian Defence Research Development Organisation, unveiled its latest in-service surveillance drone. Panchi will be showcased in the upcoming Aero India Airshow. Nishant, the current operational UAV serving in the Indian Army, is an indigenous developed unwheeled version. It is launched from a pneumatic rail launcher and uses a parachute drop system housed in an airbag under its belly for recovery. India's Panchi has all the surveillance capabilities in Nishant, but it can stay in the air longer because it does not have to carry the airbag and the parachute systems of the other. It is also a light vehicle, its body made of composite materials. It also features a high degree of stealth capability because it has a low radar cross-section signature. Iran transferred advanced weapon systems to the Hezbollah. A senior Iranian commander confirmed that his country transferred advanced weapon systems to the Hezbollah terror organization. Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadi, commander of the Aerospace Division of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, the IRGC, commented on this issue recently. He said that Iran's capabilities in manufacturing military equipment have reached such a point that the country now exports the expertise it had accumulated to neighboring countries. By exporting missile manufacturing technology along with other military equipment, Iran is helping countries such as Syria, Iraq and Palestine, as well as Lebanon's Hezbollah, to stand up to the Zionist regime ISIS, Islamic State and other Takfiri groups, the Iranian commander said. This is according to Iran's press TV. Missile defense, too much demand and not enough supply. In the framework of the anti-ISIS coalition, the US and its allies are deploying Patriot air and missile defense units in the Middle East. Logistically and operationally, they are stretched to the limit. These deployments, along with deployments throughout the Arabian Gulf, Korea and Japan, provide tremendous pressure on a very limited number of US missile defense Patriot batteries and soldiers manning these systems. So much so that deployment lengths for missile defenders currently stand at 12 months from the normal 9-month tours of the US Army. This is less than a 1 to 2 ratio of Patriot battalions deployed forward to ones in reserve where the norm for the army is a 1 to 3 deployed to reserve ratio. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching this edition of the Weekly Video Report. See you at the same time, same place next week. 
and for further information please click the link below.